Are you concerned about transformative initiatives such as refractoring your services into a cloud resource? Let us look into utilizing the AppDynamics AWS Lambda extension to best monitor the serverless compute service provided by AWS. AppDynamics supports AWS Lambda functions written in Python, Node.js, as well as Java. The instrumentation uses a tracer module which captures performance data for each Lambda invocation, asynchronously transmitting it back to the AppDynamics controller. AppDynamics automatically instruments code written in Python, Node.js, using an AWS Lambda extension, while for Java, an SDK is used. These components provide application owners, DevOps engineers, as well as IT operations, the visibility they need in order to be proactive when it comes to diagnosing issues that negatively impact the business. To get started, simply search the AWS Marketplace for AppDynamics Serverless APM for AWS Lambda. You'll need to subscribe and go through a simple sign-up process. Our documentation goes into this very clearly. Once you are subscribed, all you'll now need to do is add a layer to the existing Lambda function and then a few environmental variables. That's really it. And again, our documentation is going to help you with this. This can be done in the UI or through a CLI. Add the appropriate ARN or Amazon resource name relative to your region. Add the environment variables. And voila, there's our Lambda function now being monitored by AppDynamics, correlating with the other business applications. You can view your AWS Lambda function on your application dashboard and metrics pages, giving you the end-to-end -end view of your application through business transaction correlation. And that's it. I hope I have demonstrated how easy and quick instrumenting an AWS Lambda function can be using the AppDynamics AWS Lambda extension. Happy monitoring.